happy people i'm back with another video and today i'm super excited because i got some new products in from bt art box and i want to showcase you some of their new nail designs that they have um so this is the package that i received and um it came with some of their french tip protecting uh kits so it's the builder gel the top coat so i'll show you guys that here shortly and then their new nail tips so I absolutely love DTR box press on nails. You guys know I have a whole dedicated playlist on my channel to press ons and I showcase a lot of these products on there. I've also done extensive wear tests with the BTR box products and um, they last, they're good, they're high quality. It's just like going to the salon and getting your nails done. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys up close of these and then just do a quick demo to show you guys how to apply them. And, um, and yeah, let's hop into it. So I'm gonna go in order of which I think they were released. And so these were released in the spring slash summer and these are some really cute like kind of pastel neon colored french tips um and i was really excited to have these in my collection because um i just love the french tips now they're so cute so let's get this opened yeah you guys look how cute these are oh so cute so they're nice neons okay i think they also came out with pastels now that i'm thinking about it but these are the neon colors and I'll just give you guys a close because what I like about these is that, um, well, first off, let me see how many nails come in this one. It didn't say how many nails came with it, but um, I think this is like the 150 count or the 120 count. So it comes with these really beautiful neon orange nails. How cute are these guys? Oh my gosh. And I think these are the medium length nails, as you all can see. These nails fit so perfectly on my nail bed absolutely love them um so we got the neon orange super cute then we have the really pretty neon pink color i mean just perfect for spring summertime like when you guys want that perfect color on your french tips like these would just be amazing for that next we have this beautiful blue color french tip i mean y'all these colors just they're everything super cute i think this one's a better fit for that nail super super cute then we got this gorgeous neon green color oh my god i could just see getting so much use out of this green was like i think a summer ago green i was obsessed with and i was doing like all type of chrome nails and things no it was this past summer yeah this past summer i was obsessed with green super super cute and then last but not least is this really cute like pastel purple color so super gorgeous. Um, I love the variety. I love that you get all these different colors inside of one kit. And what you could also do is you can mix and match these colors. So if you could do one orange, one purple, one pink, blue, green on each finger and get a whole nail set. And again, one of the things I love about the BT Art Box nails is that they do um, fit sidewall to sidewall, you guys. like don't ever have an issue with these nails um and the crazy thing is is right now my, my natural nail is pretty long and so it's actually about the length of these press on nails and so um it's funny too i feel like i've gotten comments about you know people talking about the fact that i wear press on nails and how like it's kind of ridiculous that i cut my natural nails to wear press ons i just want to show you guys i i do wear my natural nails and they grow long, strong, and healthy. I don't need press-ons, right? Like I just choose to wear them out of convenience and because I don't have a problem growing long, have healthy natural nails. But I just wanna show you guys, this is what my nails look like um, with no product on it. This, These are my natural set of nails. And so do I need press-on nails? Um, no, I don't, but do I enjoy wearing them and wanna switch my nail look up um, without the hassle? Yes. So for those who, you know, have qualms about me wearing press-ons and cause I am going to cut my natural nails to do a press-on nail set. And for me, it's not a big deal because it's what I want to do. <laughs> it's my nails. <laughs> so I just wanted to put that out there. Cause I, like I said, I had a couple comments with people talking about, you know, why would I cut my natural nails to wear press-ons? It's because I want to, that's why. <laughs> but anywho, uh, yeah. So as you all can see my natural nail, it's, it's just about the same length of this press on nail so um you know i will have to cut my nails down to to do a set um but i'm actually i plan on popping these nails off so i might just pop them on with some peel off base and then um and then just pop them right back off because i'm actually i'm not even ready to cut my natural nails yet i might do like an acrylic overlay or 
some uh, hard gel on top just to get them to last, but we'll see. So anywho, um, that is the first set of press on nails. Super, super cute. I love BT Art Box products. They are amazing and they last forever. Um, so that's set number one. This is set number two here. These are some frosted tip press on. So let me show you guys what these look like. Well, they're like cat eye French tips. How cute are these? Okay. So these are really cute because they have that cat eye French tip. And again, this one here comes with this comes with 15 sizes and this is the 150 piece pack. Um, and again, they're the three in one soft gel nail system. So it has the primer, soft gel tips, and a base coat on it. When I say these are strong and they are like acrylic nails. Um, but yeah, this is what that design is looking like. And I already know with a top coat, this is just gonna be out of this world. But again, super cute. Um, just, yeah, I love the fit of these nails. They last forever. Um, so that's the second design. Like, like you guys can see that, that cat eye shift to them. I just know what top coat is gonna be crazy. So we got that. And then last but not least is this really cute um, frosted set. So let's open these up. Ooh, super cute. Okay, so these are frosted. And I think honestly, these will be really cute for this time of the year, We're starting to get into the colder months. And these are these, I think they, yeah, these have a cat eye shift to them too. But again, you can't really see it unless you go ahead and put the, um, you can't really see it until you put the, the base and top coat on. But again, super cute design. Um, yeah, these are going to make some really cute winter nails. I actually think this is a set that I want to do today because I've been dying to do a really cute little silver set. So I think these are the ones I'm going to go with. Um, so I am going to apply these. And then again, they did include two of these kits here. It's the x -Coat Tips French Protecting Kit. Um, and this is what you use to protect the nail design and also add more strength to the nail. Even though these nails are already really strong, they're like acrylics. Let me show you guys too. So like with these nails, when you bend them, they barely even bend. They're like super, super strong. Let me uh see if I can find the nail that I'm gonna use here. So let me give you guys an up close of these nails. So that's what they look like here. That's what the inside looks like. They are matte, so technically you don't have to etch the inside, but I always do for safe measure. Um, and again, when you try to bend these nails, they will not budge. Like they're really, really, really strong. Um, but they're nice and soft at the flexible, but still good, decent strength there, right? And so um, with these nails, you definitely want to make sure they fit uh, side wall to side wall, which in this case it does. And then, like I said, my natural nail is pretty long. Um, so you can see it's, it's pretty much the length of the press on nail. Um, but uh, we'll see. I might end up just keeping my nails. Like I said, I kind of want to keep my nails. So I might just keep them and then... Um, apply some peel off and pop them off so I can still wear my natural nails for a little longer but um yeah y'all that's how they fit they fit great they fit beautifully so let me show you guys how to apply them okay these are the gels that it comes with so it does come with oh the gel glue which you'll definitely need um and the gel glue is really good as well um I've, I've gotten a lot of wear out of these also um, like I said, I've done full wear test uh, with these with these press with the BT Arbox press ons using acrylic, their solid gel glue, and then also their gel glue. So I will leave all those videos linked down in the description box below. But I can get over a month's wear, sometimes up to six weeks wear using these products. So it is highly, highly recommended. And then in here it should include a builder gel, which you'll use on top of the nail to strengthen it and then a top coat to seal everything in after you do the builder gel. And again, you know, the gel glue is to apply the press on nail itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to apply these nails so we can get a cute little nail set, okay? So I did decide that I'm gonna pop these nails right off after the video. So I'm gonna just go in with some um, Oont Peel Off Base. This Peel Off Base in particular will last you about like one, like an hour or two of wear so I don't want to wear these long nails too too long I'm gonna go ahead and just pop them off uh, after application but I'm gonna apply two coats of this I'm gonna go ahead and apply two coats of my own peel off base um, I am gonna rub the nails down with just a little bit of alcohol they feel like they're a little bit uh, I still have oil on them I just put some cuticle oil on it so I want them to last at least an hour right so I'm gonna just uh, just wipe it off with a little bit of alcohol like so, and then I'm gonna apply two coats of this. This is an air dry peel off base, so I'll have to wait for it to dry before I go on with my application. Oh, 
got to make sure I coat the entire nail because I am planning on popping these off. Let me know in the comments too, what's your favorite peel off base? I've been testing a lot of new peel off base coats. Um, unfortunately, my favorite, which is my Baron peel off base coat, I think it's out of stock and it's discontinued you guys, which is like heartbreaking for me because I've been using that peel off base for like two or three years now. And it has really helped me with preserving my natural nails and not having a lot of nail damage. When I was switching out my nails frequently and doing a lot of nail designs, like that, that peel off base coat was like holy grail for me. So I'm really sad that they don't have it anymore on Amazon. So I've been trying a couple new ones. I have the Gayoi peel off base coat um, that I've been testing out extensively. I also have, um, I recently just purchased the McCart peel off base coat. I found it on sale. Um, so I've been testing that out and then I also have, um, I just recently got the uh, Jello Jello peel off base coat. So I'm going to be testing out some new peel off base coats and just, you know, give you guys my honest thoughts on them and just see, you know, peel off base coats are kind of personal. It kind of depends on um, what you guys want out of the peel off base coat. If you want longevity, if you want it to just last a day, if you want it to just last an hour, all those things matter with the peel off base. So like for instance, today I'm doing this nail set. I just want these nails to last um, about an hour and I want to pop them right off. That's why I'm using the air dry peel off base. Um, but I found that peel off bases that are UV tend to last a little bit longer, which I, which I also think there's a great time and place for because sometimes I do want to wear my nails for about a week or two and then pop them off. So you guys have to play around with different uh, peel off base coats to find the one that suits your needs. But um, for today, this own peel off base coat is going to fit perfectly because like I said, I just want to pop these bad boys right off. So I'm going to go in with two coats of this. I got to let it air dry. So once this is dry, you'll know it's dry when it when it starts to look uh, tacky, um, so to speak. So I think this first one actually is dry, but I'm going to go in with two coats of it and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so this is what the nails are looking like after the peel off base has been applied. Again, it's two coats of that Oond peel off base coat. And I did go ahead and size all of my nails off camera. When you guys are sizing your, your nails, you definitely want to make sure they fit side wall to side wall. And so, um, you know, when you hold it up against the nail, you want to make sure you don't see any um, extra nail off to the side. So, yeah, y'all. And so the first thing you want to do is with the nail, again, you can etch the inside of the nail, but since I'm going to be popping these right off, it's not necessary, but for longevity, that's what you'll want to do. You'll want to go in, if you want longevity, like I said, I'm popping these off, you'll go in, file shape, buff the nails, apply primer, and then go in with application. Oh, dehydrate, dehydrate the nail, then go in with primer. I'm popping these off. I'm skipping all those steps and just going in with my peel off base. And again, for better adhesion, etch the inside of the nail tip. I'm going to skip that as well because this is really just for demo purposes so that you guys can get the right gel ratio when you're applying um, the nails like this. Okay, so I do have my motion sensor lamp. I am like in love with this lamp. Um, I got it off Timu, but they also have them available on Amazon. And that's what I'm gonna be using to apply my nail tips with, okay? So what you wanna do is first, like I said, you'll go in with the gel glue. And I do like the consistency of this gel glue. It's nice and it's thick. Um, so the product kind of stays where you put it. Um, so what you'll do is you'll take a little bit of it on the inside of the nail tip. And what I like to do is I like to coat the inside of the nail tip ever so slightly. And I actually, I probably need to go up a little bit higher since I have my natural nails still. You'll just want to go up to where the um, nail is going to meet the press on. And then I'll apply just a little bit of extra here at the cuticle just to make sure the product can flow all the way to the tip. I'm going to get my nail lamp here. Okay get it in place. You'll apply at the cuticle and then let the gel work its way down. And once it's at the tip, you'll go ahead and cure. Oh, I got a lot of spillage. Hold on. I actually have a lot of spillage on this one. I got to redo this. That maybe was too much gel. So I want to take this gel off of my skin before I go in and cure. I'm gonna just take all of that off actually. Take all of it off around the cuticle area. I just don't want it to cure on my skin. I didn't do too good with the application. I'm actually not used to applying these nails with my real nail underneath. So that could be what's new here for me. But again, you'll go in at the cuticle 
and let the gel work its way down and then cure. Alrighty, so this is what the first nail is looking like after application. I'm having a little bit of spillage over here, so I'll show you guys how to clean that up here shortly. But let's go on to the second nail. And like as you all can see, um, it did go all the way to the tip of the nail. Um, so you just gotta apply a little bit of extra gel just to make sure um, that the that the gel is making contact so the nail doesn't pop off, okay? Again, you'll wanna just complete that, repeat that process. So again, I'm gonna go in with it like halfway up the nail since my natural nail is so long. And then just apply just a little bit of excess gel here at the, at the cuticle. Bring my lamp in frame. Okay, and so with this, you'll wanna start at the cuticle, allow the gel to work its way down and then cure. Okay, this is what the second nail looks like applied. I'll go in with the third. Okay, and again, you'll just wanna coat the inside of the tip. Line it up at the cuticle. Let the gel flow down, then cure. Repeat the process one more time. You'll just apply a little bit of gel into the well of the nail, like so. And then start at the cuticle. Let the gel work its way down, then cure. Alrighty, so this was what all the nails looked like fully applied. You'll want to go ahead and uh, put the nails underneath the lamp for a, fuel, for a full 60 second cure. Alrighty, so this is what the nails look like after they've been cured. And like I said, there was just a little bit of spillage um, on the side wall here. Um, so when it comes to removing the spillage, you can use a nail drill, but I'm just going to go ahead and go in with a regular hand file and just file away that extra gel that got that spewed out. And I'm just going to file ever so gently, as you all can see. And you just want to file it to where the gel is kind of level with the nail itself so that um, it doesn't disturb the design of the nail. Okay, so that looks good. As you can see, it's all cleaned up now. And then on this side, there was just ever so slight spillage. Again, I'm just separating it from, the, from my, my skin and just filing it until it's flush with the press on nail itself. And that looks good. I'm gonna do that all around the nail, like so. That looks good to me. And then I'll repeat that process on all the nails. Beautiful. And actually the last two, oh, okay, this one just has a little bit of spillage. Not a whole lot, but the, the, the right side of it looks beautiful. Perfect application there. that's been done after you get up any spillage then you want to go in at the tip of all the nails there's this little tab you would just want to go in and file that away really quickly like so just keep the nails nice and crisp a nice square shape dust that away as well 
And again, you guys, these nails are good for when you just want to switch up your nail set. So, I mean, my natural nails are showing pretty, pretty bad underneath here. But again, I plan on popping these off after the video. So if you guys are wearing these to like wear out, you'll definitely want to clip your natural nails down because it looks better when you're looking underneath the nail um, to not see your natural nail. But now that these are all done, next you want to go in with the Builder Gel. And the Builder Gel is literally just to add strength to the nail. You'll add one coat of that to all of the nails to give it some nice strength. Okay. Oh my gosh. Do you guys see how pretty this is? Wow. This is absolutely gorgeous. This is so gorgeous. Oh, I love this. Honestly, this just needs to be my next nail set. I'm going <laughs> to... After I pop these off, I'm going to actually apply them with acrylic. And if you guys haven't seen my how to apply press-ons with acrylic video, um, that video is actually kind of low-key going viral. So I'm going to go ahead and post it down below so that you all can see how to apply these with acrylic to get them to last long as well. Um, acrylic is my preferred method of applying press-on nails. Um, but, you know, gel is also a good alternative as well. But I'm going to have to have this be my next nail set. Look how cute. Oh, my God. I love it. Okay. So I'm going to apply the, the gel to all the nails and then cure for 60 seconds. So flip for 10, cure for 60. Oh, these are so cute. Okay, so now that the builder gel has been applied, I'm obsessed, you guys. Then you'll go in with the top coat, and that's just to seal everything in. So I'm going to go in with the B2 Art Box top coat. And again, that's going to seal in the design. And with that top coat, you definitely want to make sure you cap that free edge so that um, there's no lifting or peeling, okay? Very beautiful. So you flip for 10 seconds, cure for 60. Y'all ain't telling me nothing right now. How cute are these nails? Okay, so I mean, all you gotta do now is go in with a little bit of cuticle oil and then you're all set, okay? So I originally was gonna do my thumbnail, but I decided not to because I'm just gonna pop these off literally right after the video. But make no mistake, these nails will be making a comeback. I'm definitely going to be doing a full set of these because these are absolutely gorgeous. And they're so perfect for this time of the year. Oh my God, I love it. All right, y'all, let's get into the finished look, okay? All right, you guys. Ain't she cute though? Yes, I am absolutely loving how these nails turned out. They are gorgeous you got it's the cat eye for y'all see the shift it's the shift for me oh my gosh it is absolutely beautiful i love that they came out with this color i love that they came out with this design i have done another cat eye uh sh like a medium a short almond nail on my channel i'm gonna leave that review link down in the description box below as well but that nail set lasted me i think over a month as well but i'm just loving these designs i love the fact that you can apply them with gel um you know this this set took maybe like 30 minutes to do tops you know um and so in an hour you can get a full set of nails that look this good shape is crisp apex on point like structure is there everything is there so yeah i'm absolutely loving 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 the bt art box press-ons i'm absolutely loving the bt art box press-ons um if you guys have not tried them out i would highly highly recommend them 
So if you guys have not tried the BTR Box Press On Nails, I highly, highly recommend them. This system is a, a tried and true system for me. And so, yeah, I am going to leave everything linked down in the description box below. I do have a discount code with BTR Box. I will leave that on the screen as well. And also pop it down in the description box for you guys in case you want to check them out. But yeah, highly, highly recommend them. And it's so crazy. I was just looking like literally the Press On Nails are about the same shape and size. Well, about the same size of my natural nail you guys so you know it's so funny people always ask like oh my gosh how do you how do you manage with long nails and I'm like my natural nails typically get this long you know so I'm okay to rock a nail size this shape because this is kind of the longest I would let my natural nails get you know y'all can see it's pretty much right on par with the length of the press on nail so for those who think this is like a long shape for me this is actually like how i would actually wear my natural nails but yeah i hope you all enjoyed the video um i will keep the content coming special thanks to bt art box as well for sending these over for review i absolutely love your products and yeah i'm gonna do a full set of these y'all like when i have a little bit more time this is gonna be my next little winter set these are so cute um but yeah um again if you guys want to save some money on their website i'll leave it here on the uh, screen and then also they all of their products are available on amazon as well so i'll link uh i'll link Amazon links down in the description box also. Um, but let me know, have y'all tried BTR Box? How do you like them? And how do you think they compare to other press-on nails? Like press-on nails you maybe get from Shein or Timu or just like alternatives. How do you guys think BTR Box compares to the other ones? Because I definitely think they're they're higher quality. Um, they are a higher price point as well, but it's, it's worth the price, you know? And I do have a detailed video showing a comparison between B2 Artbox nails, Shein nails, Amazon nails, and I think some ones I got from Timo. I'll leave that down in the description box as well so y'all can compare and contrast, but BT Art Box for the win, okay? And also too, I do have a dedicated playlist showing you guys how to apply press on nails with different methods. Everything from acrylic to builder gel, to hard gel, to poly gel, um, to nail glue, and even peel off base coat. Definitely check that uh, playlist out down in the description box. I'll link it, but yeah, press on nails for the win, y'all. If y'all wanna save some money, instead of going to the salons, press on are the way to go i mean it looked like i just got a full nail set does it not yes okay okay happy people i am back i want to give you all a quick update to let you all know how easy it is to pop off um the press on nails when you uh, use the um oomph peel off base coat uh so these nails have been on for about 30 to 45 minutes and as you can see i've already lost one um this nail literally just popped off like five minutes ago so i want to show you guys how easy it is to pop all these nails off it's really just as simple as just popping it right off like <laughs> like it's super easy no damage to the nail it just it pops right off and that's why i say i like using the own peel off base coat for something that i know where i, I want to pop it off in like an hour um like literally you just kind of you just you just pop it off you guys um now this one i think might have gotten sealed let me see this one might have gotten sealed around the edges because i think there was a little bit of spillage so all you gotta do is go in with the cuticle pusher you already see there's a lot of lifting already and just go around with the cuticle pusher just to loosen just to break the seal around the, the nail let's see like so and once the seal is broken as you all can see it pops right off so yep so you just pop it on off like that and as you all can see my natural nails are good healthy still good to go and I was able to rock a cute set of press on nails so I just want to show you guys how quick and easy it is um, everybody raves about the own peel off base coat it is great it is good um, but it's really good for I would probably say nail content creators who um, really just want to do a set and pop it off for video purposes which is what I just did so yeah I hope you all enjoyed the review again I'll leave all the products that I use linked down in the description box below but yeah I do upload every Tuesday Thursday and Saturday if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family I'd love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video I hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye